Queen City News Garden. We have a project going on out there called Home Grown. As you can see, there are now plants in those garden boxes. Our meteorologist and master gardener Jim Lytle invited some 4-H volunteers to help with the cultivation. Did you know you can grow your cucumbers vertically on a trellis? Did you know that you can grow eggplant and serve it in the same day? And did you know you can ripen a tomato in a paper bag? Or that you could grow popcorn in your own backyard? And it really isn't that difficult to do those things the kids just talked about. You could raise vegetables in your own backyard with a few key resources. Two things you'll read for sure are sun and good soil and the right kind of plants. We're planting warm season plants. Our hot season is very long here, so all the things we're planting today are warm season, tomatoes, peppers, those kinds of things. We're doing herbs too, and they're Mediterranean. They like the heat also. And remember, raised beds are the perfect way to achieve the ideal soil for growing your own vegetables at home. And these basic skills and tips we're gonna pass on to throughout these weeks are things that our kids from the 4-H learn. 4-H was founded in 1902 by the United States Department of Agriculture with the goal of getting youth like me involved in agriculture, STEM, and community service. We're across many counties in the United States, and here in North Carolina, we're 10,000 members strong and growing. And all those tips and skills and little things you need to raise produce in your own backyard, to have a garden that produces these kinds of things, we're going to pass on to you on Sundays. We're going to have a little series going throughout the summer called Homegrown that will help you do just that. And here are those raised beds once again. There's some stuff that still needs to be planted out there yep. right outside the back door at Queen City News. Jim will be working on those beds over the next several weeks with those 4-H uh -huh. volunteers. And, you know, that project, like you said, Jim, called Homegrown. But how great is something like this when you have those garden boxes and you're able to put everything yeah. in there? We haven't seen anything come up out of the ground yet, but you guys have already started planting. Yeah, yeah, we have seeds in there that are going to emerge pretty quickly here. We have a very long growing season here in the Carolinas. I mean, very long. We call it succession planting. It's so long that you can do two, three rounds of plants. You can do like uh, cucumbers in the beginning of the season, then plant a second round in the middle of the season, and then in August, plant a new round of them. So you're continually getting produce. It's, it's, a, it's a great thing You here. brought a couple yeah. things in here. What did you bring in here? You can tell me what this is. You're a culinary guy. This has got to be basil. It's basil. You can I, smell I, it. Look, I, I, I can do some cooking stuff. <laughs> and what you got here? Some tomatoes? Or? Yeah, these are tomatoes. And tomatoes, you know, the, the whole horticultural world has just exploded because there's big money in it, right? And so they produce plants that you can use on your porch or patio. These are porch and patio style uh, tomatoes. They don't grow very big, but they produce tons. So you don't need a raised garden. You don't need to have a bed in your backyard that you can till up and put plants in. You can do it right in pots. And our own, our own Maureen Wirtz, she tells me, she gets updates all the time on her tomato plants. She has a bought a tomato, I think, for two months, she said. She has it on her back porch. That's awesome. I'm gonna have to look at those, garden, yeah. those gardens on the Pot, patio. Yeah, patio tomatoes, they're called. A very high producing.